Call the police. Brian Castaño robbed versus Jermel Charlo and trying to unify the super welterweight division. Absolutely disgraceful. Look, first and foremost, if you thought Jermel Charlo won that fight or that that fight was even close, then you just don't know anything about boxing scoring criteria. Unfortunately, nowadays, especially when it comes to YouTube boxing media, people want to take into consideration or seem to be taken into consideration their race, their religion, the language they speak, the nationality. None of that matters in scoring a boxing bout. None of that matters. You know, I picked Charlo to win by decision. I admit that I was wrong. You could see my prediction in the community tab. The other thing I wanted to say was in scoring about these same individuals, the judges, the boxing media, especially on YouTube, fight fans, you cannot score the bout the way you want to score the bout. You score the bout according to the way the rules tell you to score the bout. And that's something that the majority of people don't seem to understand because they don't take the time to read the damn rules. That's the thing that people don't understand. And that's the reason why we have scores all over the place. In boxing, as in every combat sport, it's the effective shots that are given the most weight. The effective shots. Second place is volume. Third place, or third and fourth, is aggressiveness and ring generalship. And you only go down to the next tier if the first one is tied. So right off the bat, you know, Castaño was landing the bigger shots throughout this fight. It was only a couple rounds where Jermel Charlo landed the big shots that did more damage to Castaño and you could give him the rounds. If you're considering the volume, if you're considering, you know, the ring generalship and everything else, um, you're doing it wrong. You have to consider the effective shots landed first. And if you're doing that right off the bat, Castaño's winning this fight by a wide, wide margin. Okay. Even if we had, <clears throat> Even if somehow, you know, you're high off mushrooms or whatever it is and you got them even as far as effective shots landed and, and then you have them even in the secondary criteria as far as volume, <clears throat> when you go to the tertiary criteria, aggressiveness, excuse me, and ring generalship, you know, I, it doesn't matter how psychedelic your mushroom is or how potent your weed is. Castaño was walking him down and beating him up throughout this entire fight. I mean, so at the very least, two out of the three criteria, you got to give to Castaño. But listen, I'm not, I'm not here, you know, to argue with you about it. You can go read the rules. I'm just telling you the way it is. It's the effective shots landed, the shots that could potentially bring out the ending of the fight that the judges are supposed to give the most weight to. Somehow we had a judge, last name Vasquez. I don't even remember his first name anymore. I don't even want to think about the guy. I'm already trying to block him out. Score this fight 117 to 111. I mean, just absolutely disgraceful. Whether it's incompetence, whether it's corruption, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But what I know is it was just absolutely wrong. That guy, that judge, should never be allowed near a boxing ring again, should never be allowed to make a decision at any sort of workplace or, or you know, life circumstance again. I mean, that guy, that guy should have his marriage arranged for him. That guy shouldn't be able to decide what woman to date. You know, that guy shouldn't, that guy should be banned from drive through windows and deciding what meal to order. They should just serve him whatever they want. I mean, that's how horrific this guy is as far as making a decision goes and then let's not even talk about the orchestra the the, the consortium of Jermel Charlo fluffers in the post fight press conference i mean there was there were more fluffers there were more <laughs> fluffers 
uh, on that post-fight press conference than, you know, the history of, uh, of Bang Bus or any of those other, uh, you know, sexy, sexy sites. So just absolutely disgraceful, you guys. Uh, and listen, it's coming from a guy, you know, the dummies are going to come on here that don't know what they're talking about. They're going to call me a hater because I'm going against their guy. Cause you know, everybody's created like cults for their guys now on YouTube media. You know, they're going to come on here, call me a hater. Listen, check the community tab. I picked Charlo to win. I picked Charlo to win by decision. The reason I picked Charlo to win by decision is because I knew Castaño was tough, but I just thought Charlo was the better fighter. And I wanted to be right, but I wasn't. I knew Castaño was tough. I knew he had a good pedigree. I also know he partially trains at a knockouts boxing facility here in Southgate, real close by. Which uh, So I know he's getting great work in. Manny Robles is there, Estrellita. Uh, they've got an incredible strength and conditioning coach, uh, Matias. These guys are beasts. So I knew this guy was going to be tough. But uh, he outdid even my expectations for him. I thought he clearly, clearly won this fight. Now I want to go back and real quick go over the scores for you guys that I had, right? And in scoring the bout, in scoring the bout, I had two rounds that I thought were very even, right? But I decided to myself not to list them as even rounds. I'm going to give one to Castaño where I thought he did just a bit more. I'm going to give one to Charlo where I thought he did just a bit more. And those were, I believe it was rounds 5 and 11, right? Or 5 and 12. Either way, I split the baby for them. So... You know, even me doing that, and, you know, I felt like I was a little bit generous for Jermel Charlo. I still ended up with a 116-112 scorecard in favor of Castaño. Um, I gave Charlo rounds two, and then I gave him 10, 11, and 12. At least one of those was pretty generous. <laughs> Maybe two of those rounds was generous. So uh, I I believe for sure Charlo round won round two because he landed the bigger shot, the more effective shot, which is what you're supposed to look at in boxing scoring criteria, guys. And I thought he landed the bigger shots in round 10 in both of those rounds. He hurt Castaño. Um, the other two rounds that I gave to Charlo, I'm giving it to him, right? I'm being pretty generous, I think, on these. Is 11 and 12. Those were close rounds. Those were close rounds, man. And the other, the other round that it was kind of... Very close was five, but I just gave it to Castaño. But look, even if I gave round five to Charlo, right? If I gave Charlo round two, 10, uh, I'm sorry, two, five, 10, 11, and 12, that's me being, I mean, over the top generous. I wouldn't do that. But even if I did that, it would still be 115, 113 in favor of Castaño. Again, what I did was I gave, I gave Charlo two, 10, 11, and 12. I'm being slightly generous there. And still, it comes out to 116, 112. This fight is probably more a 117, 111 in favor of Castaño. The fact that a referee could see it 117, 111 the other way. I mean, look, I would go back. If I was the commission, I would go back and make sure that uh, he didn't confuse their last names. I mean, that's the type of goofy shit that goes on. Uh, in boxing other than that i would run a complete investig i would run a full investigation on this guy and his scoring card because that just doesn't make sense i mean as a judge you should be able to know what the i mean you should know what the scoring criteria of a fight is and it's just impossible again what you first got to look at is the effectiveness of the shots landed you know uh then you look at volume then you look at ring generalship and aggressiveness and things like that. And uh, there's just no way. There's just no way. I mean, if you're looking at the effectiveness of the shots landed, you don't even get to volume and aggressiveness, uh, which are things you only look at if you have the first tier otherwise even. So I just don't get it. I don't get this scorecard at all. Um, again, I ask that you guys educate yourself on boxing and combat sports scoring criteria. It's, I believe, on the ABC Rules website or whatever it is. 
You can go check it out. Um, don't take my word for it. I think Castaño was robbed. I think this is disgraceful. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Join Knucklehead Nation below Fighters Rep 10, August 13th. It's going down. Man, um, I don't know what else to say. I look forward to hearing what you guys thought about this fight.